In your bingo with Chloe Madeley and James Haskell is happening now. It's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. The guys have got their waters ready. Is this the first couple we've had, Scott? I think it is. Wow. Yeah, I think it is. Couples in Innuendo. How do you feel? Gooseberry? Who are you going to spray? Because hmm? you're, you're in the middle of us, who, 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 who's going to get most? I was going to turn my head like this, like a fountain. <laughs> a dog when it shakes the water off. Is this intimidating for you? This situation. I mean, you've I doubt been it in some very quite much. intimidating situations, I'm right? Just... When you're faced with a hacker and stuff like that, it's yeah. The thing with the hacker was interesting because when I first pl- started playing, I loved it and it was very inspirational. Then I played in New Zealand with a couple of guys, and then I realised it was just fifteen lads sticking their tongues out at you, and oh, right. it wasn't that off-putting really. Oof. Okay. Where's... Okay. Uh, James's views James's there view. on the hacker. <laughs> okay. I'll just hide behind him. Water, please. Okay. As much as you can fit in there, please, guys. Cheers, guys. Let's do this. I'll see James talking about uh, rugby. Quick question for you. Have you ever wondered what the top of a hooker's head looks like? <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, here we go. First, on Inyo and Bingo, we're going over to Countdown on Channel 4. I've got to say, host Nick Hewer really does know how to make sure that the viewers stay tuned to the show when the ad breaks are on. Listen to this. Welcome back. I left with the clue. His length of meat moved very erratically. And the answer is jerkiest. Jerkiest. Jerky. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, hang on. Not the first couple we've had on. What about Stefan Dom off the goggle box? Sorry. Mm-hmm. I left with the clue. His length of meat moved very erratically. <laughs> 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 Good one, that. Thanks, Nick Hewer, and thanks, Channel 4's Countdown. <laughs> More water. <laughs> oh, gone down the wrong hole there. <laughs> wow. Water, please. Now, it's Judge Rinder on ITV. Mm. Now, what show? Have you ever seen this show? He deals with so many like different court cases every single day. Now, I don't know about you, but when did this become a, a crime? This is Judge Rinder. He's waiting to hear your case. Is your neighbour's head out of control? Have you had to dig in your heels and your pocket? <laughs> That's not even the, the bit. Sorry. It's Sorry. <laughs> fine, though. You can, you can laugh when you want to laugh. Oh, oh that was a goodness. good one. Goodness OK, let's me. see if we can get through to the end. Sorry. Here we go. Okay. Reload. Oh, God. Reload. This is going to be wet, this one. It is, I can tell. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's fine, it's the, that's the game. Oh, yeah. You goodness. have to keep the water in. Yeah, sorry. Oh, my god. It's all fine. Here's Judge, <laughs> Judge Rinder. This is Judge Rinder. He's waiting to hear your case. Is your neighbour's head out of control? <laughs> have you had to dig in your heels and your pocket to fix an encroaching tree? Is your bush too big? <laughs> like I said, not a crime. It's a personal choice. <laughs> Is your bush too big? <laughs> Water, please. If you need to reload. Chloe Madeley and James Haskell, Innuendo Bingo is happening and we're going over to I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Now, I've not seen much of this series so far, but what is going on? Here is Larry Lamb in the jungle with happily married Wayne Bridge. Just get down on your knees. Yeah. Right, now give it a little blow. (laughs) Careful. (laughs) That's it. That's it. There you go, man. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thanks, mate. Oh, goodness. That was brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> a two-pronged attack on Chris like, Stark. That was awful. I feel bad because he's got his best going out gears on. I know. <laughs> oh, this is just... What's going on on here? Just get down on your knees. Yeah. Right, now give it a little blow. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. There you go, mate. All right. <laughs> OK. Well, that wasn't the only thing that happened. Water, please. Here's Carol Vorderman with happily married Ola Jordan. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's good. Oh, Carol. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's proper in now. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, hang on. Larry oh, Lamb. Hang on. Larry Lamb teaching Wayne Bridge how to stoke a fire and Carol Vorderman giving Ola Jordan a massage in the bush. In the bush. Oh, God. Yes, the, sorry, jungle. It's not a bush. Rainforest. <laughs> Is that the wettest you've ever been? Down below, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very good game today. Very strong spitting from, from uh, everyone. Water, please. Yeah, that's proper in now. Mm-hmm. We're going over to BBC Look North and an alarming situation in the back gardens of Ripon in North Yorkshire. Oh, God. Now, if I had a back garden, I would not... Not want this to happen. Extremely alarming. It was only when I went around the back and really saw the magnitude of of the hole, and it, it was it was humongous. Even in the dark, uh, with my tiny torch, you could see that it was pretty big. You know, it stretches from about ten foot from my back door to our garage, which is about forty feet. It's about twenty feet wide, and it's just consumed everything that we had in the garden. Yes. James, you spray like a whale. <laughs> he is good. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Even in the dark, uh, with my tiny torch. And oh. next, one water, please. Chris, you are drenched today. Yeah. <laughs> We're going over to PSG v Man City on BBC Five Live. Now, this is football. James, can I ask you, does this happen much in, in the rugby's? Yeah, they're not hurting, but, but it's not in their nature. And I, and I think they pressed on him. And Paris, as I said before, the show mark, Paris, don't get many teams who'll come in your face high up the field. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it can happen. Sometimes okay, happens. right. I just wanted to know the differences. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> this seems like a long game, but it's great. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> oh, Are you okay, Chloe? Yeah, I'm good. Mm. Right, dead. we move on. It's the House Doctor on Channel Five. Uh, Water, please, uh, Chris. You've got a situation there. I'm worried. I'm gone see through. <laughs> <laughs> Where I'm standing, there's not a lot of sea really. It's right. Oh, okay. Now, on the house, Doctor, if you're ever thinking of going on this show, Water, please do beware because the house Doctor notices absolutely everything that you've done in that room. Oh my God, don't tell me more yellow. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> well, finally, I have something to look at. This is a fabulous room. Oh, you actually like this room then? You shot your entire wad in one room. <laughs> See, what they've done is, is spent their entire budget there on just the one room. And she noticed. <laughs> oh, seeing a couple play it like this, Scott, makes me think maybe this should be a, a good Christmas game. I agree. Available. Couple specials a- are the way forward. Oh, I meant more like a sort of board game. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Next, it's Simon Mayo on Radio 2. This is his confessions feature where people send in confessions of the things they've done in their lives. Right. And here we join Simon with a story in the middle of the night. She was trying to remember where the drinking glasses were kept. In the half light, she saw a row of cups on the draining board. Taking the nearest one, she gave it a splash of cold water from the pump and gratefully drank it down. To her horror, something slimy and firm slipped into her mouth and slid down her throat. (laughs) Now that was a lady accidentally drinking an Ed yolk there. (coughs) <coughs> Quite difficult to see in the dark when you're drinking a yolk. Mm. And finally, <coughs> wow, this has been wet. Oh. ITV, we're going over to. I feel dirty. I feel like I've, mm-hmm. I've got involved in something here. Yep. Some... <laughs> 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 I brushed my teeth this morning, so you're mm. right. Yeah. A lot of cabbage we had for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that cabbage diet oh, yeah. that you're on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what I mean, Scott? Mm. I feel like third wheel. Do you? Mm. So you like, feel like you've been involved. You feel like he's won the lottery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Have you ever um, have you ever been on the celebrity chase, you two? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, well, when you do, please remember, they give you multiple choice. The answer is never, ever see. Well, when flown, what does the maritime signal flag Z Zulu mean? A, keep clear of me. B, I'm dragging my anchor. Or C, I require a tug. It's never C. Oh. Boom. That was Chloe Madeley and James Haskell in Yuna Bingo. Thank you so much for coming in today, guys, and for making Chris possibly the wettest he's ever been. We'll have a video for you later. Thank you, guys. One.